can we take a moment <clears throat> to appreciate my decorations? Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a winter favorites. And I've actually been wanting to do one of these videos ever since I started. And someone actually requested this, so thank you for requesting. As always, at the end of every video, I say you guys can leave down comments below to any requests you guys have and I will definitely make that video happen. If you guys didn't know what um, winter favorites or like essentials videos are, I basically show you guys a bunch of products that I've been loving or just like pretty much anything that I use during the winter so that you guys can maybe get some suggestions if you're tr looking to try something new or anything like that. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is skincare because that's something I am really care about. I hate having acne and I hate pimples and all that gross stuff. So recently I've been using the Proactive 3 Set Kit Solution. You just read the directions, you wash your face, and then you start applying all this stuff. I really like this. I just did it on my face. That's why I'm wearing like not a lot of makeup. Makeup wise, my sister got me this BB cream by NYC, which is um, BB cream, if you didn't already know, it's kind of like foundation, but it's a lot less coverage and you don't really look like a cake face, you know. <laughs> and another makeup product I've been loving recently is this bronzer and blusher duo compact. It has, as you can see, the blush and the bronzer. And they're both really sparkly, but I like it because it's really pigmented and it gives my face like a lot of color. And also, eyeshadow wise, I've been loving the Nudes Palette by Ma there's me, haha. <laughs> the Nudes Palette by Maybelline. 12 different shades. And as you can see, they're all like really neutral and like browns and taupes and black and stuff like that. I have been loving this book called Fangirl and it's by Rainbow Row and there's a sequel and I also bought that but I haven't read it yet but I love everything by Rainbow Row if you're really into reading like I am then you should probably check her out if you haven't already now onto clothing items I love this scarf so much I do not know where this is from sadly but I've had this since I was in like the fourth grade and I'm a freshman now in high school so I've had this for like ages I it's probably like from Target or something like that but it doesn't have a tag on it and I asked my mom she does not remember where we got it but as you can see it's red black and white and it's got some taupe kind of yellowish brown color and I wear this with pretty much every outfit so I just cut this in half when I wear it and then I grab the two ends and I pull it through this hole and then I adjust it to as tight or as loose as I want it that day. I like it because it's not like those annoying itchy scarves. It's like super comfortable and soft and it's not too thick to the point where it's like suffocating. It's just perfect. I love this scarf. And the last thing I'll be talking about today is, you probably already could tell, I've put this in like two of my videos I think already, but um, the black leather jacket I got in my Black Friday haul. If you didn't already watch that, I'll leave it linked down below. You should watch it. But it's got this like really nice black fur over here at the top and it's also detachable just in case you don't like that, but I love it. So some shows I've been loving recently are Jane the Virgin. Oh my gosh, my sister and I started watching that. And um, I heard about it from Alicia Marie, who's also a YouTuber. She mentioned it in one of her vlogs. And I had always seen it on Netflix, but I didn't know if I wanted to give it a chance or not, because I thought it was gonna be stupid. It's a really good show. My sister and I are on season two already, I believe. And another show that I definitely want to recommend is an anime called Tokyo Ghoul. And you can find it on Hulu, not on Netflix. But if you like anime, then I definitely recommend it if you haven't seen it already. Which you, if you don't watch anime, then all I can say is, like I didn't used to like anime. I thought it was really weird, and I tried watching a couple of shows like Attack on Titan and Black Butler, but I was like really freaked out. But um, this was the first Tokyo Ghoul was the first anime show that I like watched, and I just like fell in love, and that led into like a bunch of different shows. 
So I really like Tokyo Ghoul, and if you've never watched anime before, then I definitely recommend it. That concludes my favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me just ramble about all the stuff that I love. If you guys would like to see more videos like this, then give it a thumbs up. And as always, I hope you have a great day. Bye!